Okay, so we're basically given the question that we're given a cardboard box, or at least just like one face of a cardboard box, and it has certain dimensions, and then they cut out a, a square from each side of these. And we know it's a square, so these little areas are all going to be proportionate, right? So that's a square out of each side. Two three, four, and that's just from here to here that's proportionate, not the entire thing. And from here as well, here, 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 and from here as well. And just to clarify, so it's doing that so it can be able to fold all of these sides up to make a literally like a rectangular base prism basically, but it's uh, without the top face. So, we are given the dimensions that the length is 100 centimeters long. So this entire side is 100 centimeters. This entire side is 80 centimeters. And it says to write an expression for the volume um, in a function of x format. So basically, we know that the volume of something is going to be represented like, well, you could write it as f of x, but I'm going to write it as volume of x just because it's a bit more proper um, because it's not a function. Um, it's like we're writing it as the volume. It's like when you write the height of something, you write it, you usually write it like h of t instead of f of x. So we're going to do the volume of x and we know that that the volume will be equal to eventually its length times width times height, right? Because it's a rectangular base prism. It's three dimensional. So I'm going to draw this again, or I'll do my best, but three-dimensionally. It's going to look like this, like this. This is, I'm doing my best to draw this accurately, but ugh, it's okay. And it's going to go like that. And hold on, let me erase that part right here. And then it's going to look like this. Okay, good enough, right? So we know that these sides are represented by x because these are the these are the unknown. So that's going to be an x, that's going to be an x, and then these are all x. All of these sides everywhere around are going to be x. And if you think of this three-dimensionally, like you're actually folding it up, you know, that's an x, that's an x, that's an x right there. And that's an X as well. And obviously, that's going to be the height because it's three dimensional. That's the so then if that if that's X, then that's mean this is going to be the length, and this is going to be the width. So basically, it's going to be X v of X is going to be the height times something that represents the length, and then something that represents the width. So. We have 100, what do we know from that? So, we know that if we're actually cutting out this, we're taking away an x from this side. So from here to here, we're taking that entire chunk out, correct? And hold on, that was my bad, let me, let me erase that. Okay, so we know that we're taking out that entire chunk of x, and we're also taking out an entire chunk of x from here on that side, and we're taking out this much x from that side, and we're taking out that much x from this side, and that goes all the way around, right? Because this is what we're removing from it, so we're able to fold it into a box. So we're taking out all of these dimensions. I hope that makes sense. So another way of writing this right here would be, hold on, I'm going to change the color. The length could be 100 centimeters, and then we're subtracting, we're removing 1x from that side, 1x from that side, so we're removing 2x's. So it'll be 100 minus 2x. And then this side, if we're removing x from that, x from there, 
and our entire thing is 80, then it would just be 80 minus 2x, the same thing, just with the other dimension, right? So that will be 80 minus 2x, and this is all multiplied by x, right? So now it's simple. All we have to do is expand it. So I'm going to do this again. V of x will equal, and you can really, you can multiply whatever you want. I'm going to multiply the, the, or I'll distribute the x into this bracket first, uh, just because that's the first thing, that's the first thing I see, so I'll do that first. So 100x multiply there, then x times negative 2x, it's going to be negative 2x squared. So we got, and then we're going to multiply that by 80 minus 2x. So the volume of x would be equal to 100x times 80. x is going to be, or just times 80. That's going to be 8,000x and 100x times negative 2x. That's going to be minus 200x squared. Then we got negative 2x uh, x squared times 80. That's going to be negative 160 x squared. And then negative 2x squared times uh, 2x. That's going to be positive 4x cubed. So if you're going to rewrite this into something that you're more familiar with in uh, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d format, then you could write it as 4x cubed, and then we're going to collect the like terms from these guys. And what's so what's negative 200x squared minus another 160x squared? That's a negative 360x squared. And then you're adding 8,000x. Uh, 8,000x. 8, so therefore, the volume of this is going to be equal to this function right here.